Okay, so we're going to continue building on the work that we did previously. The code for this um, tutorial is up on GitHub. Uh, this is some actual code that's going to be used in production, uh, so eventually it should be fairly stable. Uh, we'll post links to the code in the show notes, but um, we're going to continue on with the code that we were writing and add functionality to these checkboxes. So previously we generated this filter tree, but we have these checkboxes and they don't actually do anything. Um, and you can see the checkbox right here, input type equal checkbox. Uh, we managed to refactor such that all of the checkboxes are rendered in this one method, so that'll make it nice as we start writing the code. All right, for now we're gonna store the bits and pieces of code in the, um, in the local state. Uh, we have this uh, state equals grade checked. I'm gonna actually just change this to item checked just to make it a little bit more generic because um, it's not necessarily a grade because each individual level in the tree can be a different thing. So we're just gonna call them all items and that way we can handle them in a generic way. Okay, so when this checkbox is clicked, we want to call a method and, and do some stuff. So we are going to say on change for the checkbox and we're gonna use an arrow function here. This helps us, um, one, to bind, it, in an arrow function, the, the this inside of the arrow function is the context from which it's called. So it'll be the home class that you see up here, the, this class right here, rather than the, the calling context. Um, and we wanna preserve it so that we can use this. All right, so when I use the arrow function now, I can call this dot um, and we'll say check item. All right, so that's the method that we're gonna call whenever somebody clicks on one of these checkboxes. Uh, we're gonna pass the child, which we can get from here. It's the value that's passed to us. And we're also gonna pass this event object, and that will help us to know whether or not the object is checked. So now we have to go write the check item function. So we'll add it right here. So check item is going to receive a child and an event. And then it's gonna to need to set some state. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna get some new state and, and set it. So we need to start with existing state. And we're going to have item checked equal this dot state dot item checked. And now we can do item checked. Uh, now this is going to be a hash or an associative array, depending on which vocabulary you like to use to describe these. And the thing that we're going to check is the child ID. So now we can identify each individual checkbox in the tree, and it's gonna be set to e.target.checked. So that will tell us whether or not the object, um, the checkbox is checked in the tree. Now I can say set state to, let's see, set state, item checked to item checked. Um, and because we're using uh, ES6 syntax and this gets transpiled, I can actually just say item checked like that. Okay, so let's go and see how we did. Here's our page. <clears throat> go ahead and refresh that. Once again, sign in. Hopefully, there we go. Now when I check these, um, you can see that nothing's happening. We actually have to go write the code to display whether or not they're visible. So even though we're changing the state of our object, uh, nothing is visually happening. So let's go fix that. Okay. So inside of our render item, we have this render children. In our tree, we don't want to render the children unless the parent is checked. Otherwise, there's sort of this ridiculous experience happening right here. Okay, so let's fix that. Um, we can say um, rendered children. And then if Remember we have this up here in the state, so I can check the state. So if this dot state dot item checked uh, child whoops, child dot id, and that should be 
uh, true or false value depending on whether or not it was checked. Initially, the values will just be undefined, but um, we're just going to let that go for now. Uh, undefined is going to evaluate to false. So I know that we checked things with is undefined before, but um, that's not going to work if things are true and false. So we're just going to let it be an if uh, conditional in this case. All right, so if the item is actually checked, then we're going to set render children equal to this dot render children, like so. And then we'll put that right here. Okay, now let's go see. And you can see right here that we are not rendering the tree because we haven't checked grade nine. But if I check grade nine, nothing happens. Let's see here. Um, it looks like item check is not defined, line 114. Oh, right here, this is a problem. I think that's our error. That should be item checked. Okay, let's try this again. All right, now when I check these, the children show up. And I can check them all the way down into the child nodes. And if I uncheck them, then they disappear. OK, so we've managed to add the onChange method that helps us determine whether or not our checkboxes are checked or not. And then we render our children accordingly.